Okay, we're going here. So. Okay, this will be a media scrum, so just ask your questions as you want to. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, well, uh, the question I would ask is um, every, um, every trainer or coach wants to leave a legacy as a horse person, and your legacy is your students. And I'm just wondering who do we watch for in the 15 to 20 something range as students coming up that are going to be a big impact on our show jumping and, and industry, horse industry? Well, I'm uh, luckily in the position now, my pupils are the teachers. Oh, great. I don't have as many direct uh, students. I do lots of clinics, and they have professionals. And uh, in fact, I'm teaching people I'm sometimes have in clinics, pupils of pupils of pupils of pupils, so it's two or three or four generations of pupils. I don't have many direct pupils right now. My future, I'm working very closely with uh, Nina uh, Onassis de Miranda and her husband, Alvaro Miranda. Yeah, she, he's from Brazil. He's a top Brazilian show jumping ace. Uh, they'll be my direct students. And I work very closely with Christine McRae. She's a top American. And uh, this winter, I've worked with Ben Mayer from England. Those, those are more or less people I'm directly working with. Right. Now, Reed Kessler is one of your students. Reed Kessler, I teach her, but she's Katie Fugant's student, but Katie was my daughter. You know, she also <laughs> helped BZ, uh, so it's a second generation, third generation, but it's the same method. George, when you give a clinic like this, is there one thing you want your riders to take away? Is there one? Yeah, you know, I'm a great stickler with horses of discipline. Uh, there's there's a lot of smoke and mirrors and and over uh, over petting horses and sugar and pre that's not how to work with a horse. The horse is happiest when it's fairly treated and fairly trained and fairly handled. That's what a horse wants more than sugar. Heading, good boy. That's not what a horse wants. Okay. So, uh, what what do you look for in your rider to achieve? That? Well, I look for a rider with passion. I look for a rider with interest and passion. It's always nice if they have athletic ability. They have a sense of riding a horse, sense of jumping. You know, but I first want enthusiasm and passion for the sport. Anything else? Another one, Faye? What's the biggest problem facing our horse industry right now, and how do we guard against that? Yeah, you know, we used to be years ago, we were horse people. We had horses. I grew up even in Connecticut during the Second World War. We had a horse to, uh, attached to a cart uh, because we didn't have gasoline. I mean, uh, but over the decades, less and less people are connected to the horse. That's why I again talk about Spruce Meadows, because it's a very horse-oriented situation for the general public, and it gets people connecting with the horse. That's our part. All right, we've got to, I'm, I'm very sorry. Yep. I can't go longer. Thank you, George. We appreciate you being at the main event. Okay, let me just get the mic.